For 25 years now, you have been throwing your tea bag in the sink. Who do you think takes your tea bag from the sink and puts it into the garbage? Where is the garbage? Mom says we're moving, just me and her. Is she serious this time? I don't know. We're all pretending she's not, though. Don't spoil the fun. For 25 years, Mag Singer's been a devoted wife. In you know, one minute, I'm hot for Patrick, and then the next minute, I'm the mother of seven sons. You're officially separated? Officially? In her little mind, yeah. <laughs> and an understanding mother. She carried me like a baby, and the guy saw? When a, a woman becomes a mother, there's just this little part of her that grows and grows. Kind of like those little things that are in your cereal box. When you add water, they grow to 300 times their original size. It just rules her life, this monster mother, 300 times bigger part. But just when she thought it was safe to make a change... What was that something more that you wanted? I mean, I was 35 before I had a dinner where I wasn't cutting somebody else's meat. Maybe you're right. Maybe you shouldn't have had all those kids. Oh, I can't imagine my life without any one of my guys. Her worst fears. The blast apparently collapsed the Marine Building. More than 60 men are known dead at this hour. Oh my God. Are coming true. He was in the building that was bombed. So assume the absolute worst. It's really best for everyone. You can't be telling me there's nothing I can do. I got a son over there. Now, as a family comes together. If you were to suddenly turn soft, I wouldn't hold it against you. It's my fault if he's dead. Maybe it's my fault. Or maybe it's your father's fault. If he had been so irresistible, then we wouldn't have had sex. Laughter. <laughs> Mama, well, I get the picture. Will ease the pain. <laughs> On your mark. Get set. Go. Get set. And a passage will be cleared. I just don't think I can live without you. To the future. You know you're alive. Life has a funny way of working out when you work it out together. Safe passage. What day of the week were we married? The day of the yeah. week? It was a Monday. Little Chapel of Bliss. It was the Little Chapel of Harmony. Bliss. Harmony. Bliss. Harmony. Bliss. Harmony. Bliss. It was Harmony. Directed by Robert Allen Ackerman. This is the story of Stanley Ipkiss. Stanley, you are the nicest guy. <laughs> really, you are. Yeah. His job is at the bank. You're 40 minutes late. Now, that's the same as stealing. I'm sorry, Mr. Dickey. It, it'll never happen again. He loves his dog. Come on, bro. Give him to me. Drop it. He's polite to his landlord. Ipkiss, do you have any idea what time it is? You know, Mrs. Peenman. What? Nothing. And the most exciting thing in his life are his pajamas. But now... Hey, you! What are you doing down there? I'm just looking for... my mask! All that is about to change. <laughs> because Stanley Ipkiss is not the man he used to be. Smokin'! It's like it brings your innermost desires to life. You become some sort of love-crazy wild man. I want him here tomorrow a lot. Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Do ya, punks? <laughs> Jim Carrey is... That's the guy! Hello! <laughs> The mask. Ooh, somebody stop me! Market, common market. 
I'm doing a film about my nightmares as I'm dreaming them. In order for the movie to continue, it, it was dependent on me having more nightmares. Well, fortunately, I did. I'm a little frightened by what Wes may have tapped into. I frankly felt that it was over when we did the last, the final nightmare. In a town where movies go over schedule and directors go over budget, something far more evil is out of control. Two of Hollywood's best-known special effects technicians were found dead. Part of the theme of the movie is becoming like part of the making of the movie. Can you come with me in my dreams? I think that only happens in the movies. What happens when the story dies? The evil is set free. Now that the films have ended, the genie's out of the bottle. That's what the nightmares are telling me, and that's what I'm writing. This is still a script we're talking about, right, Wes? You decided to cross over out of films into our reality. The only way to stop him is to make another movie. Oh, my God. The bad man's getting awful close. You're gonna have to make a choice. Whether or not you're willing to play Nancy one last time. Oh. No! Mommy! Cut the effects! Isn't there somebody who can stop him? That person's you. Oh, why me? But it was you that gave Nancy her strength. Nancy. Oh, Where's my face? 